The outpouring of support has been tremendous. This community showing heart in the form of Nick's football number 55 on their sleeve, their cars, their scoreboard, everywhere. A symbol of love, profound sadness, and a vow to never forget the junior and his six-year-old brother, Gavin. A fundraising effort now approaching a quarter of a million dollars in donations. Even in the face of this tragedy, um, we all firmly feel that Nick would have wanted us to keep going. It's homecoming week at Bow High School. The superintendent says it's important to hold those traditions and activities, but some may be changed in light of the tragedy this community is coping with right now. The football coach agrees. When tragedy strikes any institution, especially a public high school, it's way important that you provide some sense of normalcy as much as you can, and certainly a football game with homecoming and all the pageantry and so on is an important stepping stone and an important step forward. A family liaison posted a statement on the school district website last night. First, on behalf of the Willette family, the family would like to express their deepest gratitude for the outpouring of support. The family shared that when they're in a place to communicate information about services or a memorial, they will pass that along for their friends and community to be a part of it. The superintendent says the grieving process will look and feel different for everyone. And now is a time for gentle support and patience with one another. This is a long process and it's going to take a long time to heal and a long time to grieve. And we need to take some things a little slower. According to the SAU website, a foundation is covering all of the funeral expenses. The Viviana Leon Memorial Foundation says it isn't matter of it isn't a matter of whether a family can afford to cover the costs. It simply believes no family should have to bear the costs of burying their own children. We're live in Bow this noon. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.